So 2008 to 2009 was uh, kind of a rough time for my family. My mother and father both got laid off. My father went into semi-retirement, and my mom um, very quickly started finding another teaching job because um, she had gotten laid off about six months away from being granted tenure. <laughs> Uh, and then Rob and I were just, we had just moved to Fort Worth, and I got a mass Facebook message to call home immediately and don't delay. And so I called home to the news that my sister Jennifer, whose birthday is today, had been diagnosed with Ewing sarcoma, which is a very aggressive form of the cancer. So that was a very rough, rough time period. Um, and then a few weeks later after that, uh, <laughs> this story goes on, and on. <laughs> a few weeks after that, my family was taking my sister Jennifer to the hospital in the only car that my family had at the time, and was on Route 23 in New Jersey, and was in a multi-car accident. The car was wiped out, everybody was fine, Jennifer still had cancer, but everybody was fine from the car crash. And my mother's best friend, Sandy, who had been friends for about 30 or 40 years now, was moved to ask my mom if we had somehow changed our last name to Job and not told anybody. <laughs> so what became, uh, and the reason that I'm sharing this story on All Saints with the theme of Everyday Saints is because this time in our lives really opened our eyes and our hearts to the community around us and how much support and love we could find from people that previously we had maybe said hi to um, or just knew because they were a friend of a friend. But all of a sudden, that friend of a friend would come and introduce themselves and say, you know, my family went through the same thing and you need to talk to this social worker at this place and they'll be able to help you access some of the services out there. Um, we had people that I have never met in my life, and I probably will never meet them again, bringing food to the house so that my mom didn't have to cook. Um, we had people donating uh, a vehicle so that we could actually get Jennifer to the hospital. Um, we had people from our church community, from the school community, um, from the Girl Scout community, people that we could not realize that our family had touched in so many different ways. And each one of them, even if it was just a card or some flowers or something to show that we were in their prayers or a little note to say I've asked for um, someone to say a prayer for you at this mass in this parish. Um, we, saw, we soon found that we were part of a larger community of everyday saints. And so, although my sister is not here to celebrate her birthday with us today, um, we, I still feel like she's here with us. Um, my daughter Jennifer was named after her. Um, when my sister passed, and the anniversary of that is coming up in a few weeks, we all went out, my four sisters and I, all went out and got tattoos. Uh, and my dad didn't even have a single word to say about it. <laughs> but her memory lives on. Um, her memory lives on when someone says, we're going through a hard time, and I remember the folks who came forward for us. And so we just do our best through our church community, through our neighborhood, through the Girl Scouts, and through our family to be the everyday saints that other people.